Hi friends, my name is Justine, but you can call me Blondie, and today's video is going to be what I got my kids for Valentine's Day. It's just a super quick one today. Um, I've done this video for the past several years, and so doing it again this year, um, I always get my kids um, little gift, usually like little gift bags filled with goodies for Valentine's Day. Um, I just think it makes the holiday extra special. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do this year. Um, this year I'm actually gonna use these though. These are from Dollar Tree. I'm actually recycling them from last year because their grandma um, got them Valentine's gifts last year and put them in these. Um, but I do know that, Val that uh, Dollar Tree does still have these. I just saw them there. Um, and I just think they're perfect for giving like a little gift. Um, but they look like this, just clear buckets with some sweethearts and a lid. And hopefully I can fit everything that I got them um, inside of these. So starting off with candy because I do always get them candy every year. They are each getting a little box of chocolates. Um, and these are all from Dollar Tree. So the space one for my son. And then my two middle daughters have the same one because they are kind of at that age where they fight over everything. So you have to get them the same thing of everything. Um, but got them the same ones with just like little puppies and then my youngest I got this for her because I loved it and she's not old enough to really care so much about the design yet but it's this um like xo but it kind of looks like a Louis Vuitton print how cute is that so boxes of chocolates for all four of the kids and then these are also from Dollar Tree I just got them each like a little Tootsie Pop bouquet um and yeah, super cute. Also, I think in years past when I've done these videos, I've shared what I've done for their classrooms. I have not bought any classroom Valentines yet, so keep an eye out for a vlog, I guess. I'll share it in a vlog. Um, I've only gotten stuff for my kids so far. And then every year I usually get them a shirt for Valentine's Day. Um, some years I've done like Valentine's shirts. Some years I've just done cute shirts that I saw that they liked. This year I actually did like whole outfits. So a shirt and a pair of pants for each kid. Um, so let's do oldest to youngest again. And all of these clothes are from Target. So for my oldest, um, just some black, black shorts. Cause even though it's winter, um, summer, spring and summer will be here soon. And these are also on clearance for only three fifty. That's pretty good. Um, so just black shorts. We also live in Texas. So we have more hot months than we have cold months. Um, and then I thought he'd really like this. A snake with big old fangs. How cool is that? So that's going to be his valentine's and i think everything is cat and jack for all of the kids because yep y'all know how target is everything at target is cat and jack these days and then for my oldest daughter they have like teams at school um and each team is a different color and she's on yellow team so i thought she would like this to wear um for her like team days um but it's a yellow shirt with a heart that looks like honeycombs and bees and flowers. And I thought that was so cute. I love bees and bee designs. Um, plus it's like her team colors. So I thought she'd like that. And then for the pants, now all the girls did get long pants cause I could not find any shorts in the girls section. Um, in the big girls or the little girls section. So, Sparkly leggings for her. How cute are these? So something neutral that will match, um, you know, most outfits. Plus they're sparkly, so she'll love it. And the bees on this also have like gold glitter. Not sure if you could tell earlier. They have gold glitter, so an extra sparkly outfit. Um, all around and my middle daughter i think hers is my favorite outfit that i got and these kind of match like the colors are right but the patterns are different um but i got her these leggings that have red flowers white leggings with red flowers and there's also some like burgundy and well, even a little bit of pink in there and then to go with that we've got this strawberry shirt with red and pink strawberries. How cute. It's got like a little ruffly peplum. Not quite sure if that's considered peplum, but a ruffly bottom. 
And I think these will look really, really cute together. And then for my youngest, I saw these leggings and I had to get them for at least one of my kids. They only had it in her size. So these pink leggings with hot pink hearts. So cute. I just love the hot pink on the hearts. Um, and then I just went ahead and found, there's, this was the only shirt that would like match that because the, the hearts are so like neon pink or at least it was the closest to matching it. And it's this little ice cream cone. Um, and has like a little heart cherry, how cute. So these, it's not like a perfect, perfect match, but it's the closest I could find. So there's her outfit. And then for like their toy, and I do something different every single Valentine's Day toy wise. I went to Five Below to look at toys and they had so many Squishmallows and my kids are on a Squishmallow kick right now. My two youngest both have Squishmallows, but my two oldest don't. And my two oldest have expressed interest. So I just went ahead and got everyone Squishmallows. Um, and these are all smaller ones, but they are all from Five Below, like I said. So for my son, here's this snake. How cute, it's got the little tongue sticking out. In the back it has a tail and like metallic scales. I think he's gonna like that a lot. And then my middle girls, again, um, they fight over everything. So I got them both cats. And I hope like, they like these ones because usually Squishmallows are like super colorful and pastels and rainbowy. Um, but I was trying to find things that were like different but the same. Um, and so I thought these would be close enough that they won't fight over them. So two little cats and they also, oh no, one has a tail and one doesn't. Well, one has a tail and one doesn't on these little cats. And then for my youngest, she did get like a more colorful one. Um, it's this guy and she, this kind of looks like a cat too. I think it's supposed to be, um, his name is Leonori. What are their, the mythical, those mythical creatures called? I don't know, but like it's a lion with wings. Um, and there's the wings. They've got some sparkles. And then a fluffy tail. And so I, I'm not sure if the Squishmallows will fit in the buckets with everything else. So they might have to sit on top or something. They are Squishmallows, so maybe they'll squish squish into the bucket and I'll just try to show them in their best I can. But those are like the toys that the kids are getting for Valentine's Day. Um, and that is it. That is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I will link my past Valentine's Day videos down below if you want to see what I did in years past. Cause like I said, I, I always get the kids candy and I usually get them a shirt, but like toy wise, um, it's usually something a little different every year. But I hope y'all enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.